Okay, after the end of the SAG strike, uh, the priority for Marvel Studios will be the cast of the Fantastic Four and the filming of Deadpool, uh, Daredevil, Thunderbolts, Wonder Man, and Blade. Yeah, everyone's just going to start coming back. and yeah. just... It's going to be one massive dump. Yeah. Like, it's probably going to be like a block where there's nothing really happening. And then and then all of a sudden, we're all of a sudden it's going to be like a big rush, uh, massive yeah. uh, stuff coming in. I know the movie theater is going to love it, but I know people's pockets are going to be burning. Like It's going to be like... People were like, oh, I might need, like, if I want to see this movie and everything like that, I'm going to have to, like, you know, set aside. Listen, you know? All, all, all's going to happen is these jailbroken fire sticks are going to go up. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that? Well, what do you mean by that? Allegedly. 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 allegedly, you know, allegedly, 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 allegedly man. Saying, it's the thing. Listen, you, listen, because, listen, at this point, people are going to have to figure out what to go watch, when to go watch it. All of these shows are going to be coming out. You know, nerds like us will go because that's what we do, but you know, the general public gonna going to pick and choose. So some of these are going to be absolutely incredibly successful. And then some of these are going to be like, yo, why didn't that make money? Exactly. Leo, I have a, I have a question for you. What up? Do you have more Blade news? Uh, Yes, at the okay. end. Uh, you were going to save it for the end? Okay, because I have yeah. the, whole art, the a whole article pull up that I'm going to read. So Oh, fuck it. Pull up the Blade. Let's bring up the that? Blade. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I figured it'd be a good time since since uh, we, we mentioned Blade. So... Uh, there's been some rumblings on YouTube and the, the well, it's not the Twitter sphere anymore. It's I guess the X sphere. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that the Blade reboot, whatever you want to call it, for Marvel with Mahersh Lali is in trouble. Again. And um, I have the article here that I want to read to you guys because I think it's um, it's uh, it's it's troubling to say the least. And I want to see what you guys <laughs> think about it. So. Uh, Marvel's Blade movie starring Oscar-winning actor Mahershala Ali could be in big trouble if the latest rumors are true, which follows the end of the, the writer's strike. Uh, it's claimed that Blade is going through another rewrite, which follows the news prior to the strike that this rewrite was already happening. So if true, it means that the Blade movie is going through at least its third rewrite. The rumor comes from the official Twitter account of... it's a, it's a I'm not going to say it because it's a leaker on Reddit. Uh, which is also claimed Eben, I'm going to say the name wrong and drink, uh, Eben Moss ba uh, Barak is playing the thing I'll in Fantastic Four. Huh? Yeah, you could drink for me. Uh, is playing the thing in Fantastic Four, which is also said to be suffering from a host of problems. Uh, update, Daniel RPK, known leaker, I will say his name because he's very renowned on X. Uh, Daniel RPK says the script is getting a rewrite. Um, he's also the original source of the rumor. And uh, that's pretty much it. The only thing I want to mention before I let you guys go and I'll let you guys talk about it is here's kind of the timeline for Blade, right? We got the announcement on Blade back at SDCC, what, two years ago now? Is that it? Yes. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh, the movie then lost its director and writer simultaneously. Now, apparently, everybody who's rumored to be working on the project is essentially tied to Mahershala Ali in some way, shape, or form. People from Lovecraft Country, like writers from Fucking different. Age. So here's the thing, right? I don't want to come. I, I love Mahershala Ali. Please don't think I'm knocking him. I think he's going to be a great blade whenever they come around to it. But I'm getting a little bit of rock ego out of the fact that he wants all his people on the project. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be a Kevin Feige Marvel movie. Marvel movies have been, for the most part, pretty good. So it's like now Mahershala Ali's kind of like, oh, I don't. And listen, if it was a 90 page script and it had two fucking action scenes, whoever wrote it should have been fired. <laughs> right. Like 150 percent should have been fired. So I get it from that aspect. But I think the thing that's bothering me is instead of finding the right person for the script, it's like, well, let's just let Mahershala Ali bring in all his people. And hopefully the script will be done the way he wants it done. Like we're catering to Mahershala Ali a little bit. And I love him as an actor, but I'm kind of like. That didn't exactly work out with The Rock, where he wanted Henry Cavill in the movie and fucking got it, and it didn't do anything because he got fucking fired anyway. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, I'm not trying to correlate the two, but I'm just saying I'm a little but, nervous okay. because I don't know what to make of Blade. And three rewrites on a Marvel movie? Sorry, that shit ain't fucking good. <laughs> well, I, I'll, let me, I'll jump in here and say this. Um, certain actors, certain producers, certain directors, I trust. Mahershala is one of those guys that, um, that I trust because um, there really isn't so much of an ego. He understands that 
this um, this movie, if it's successful, is history in the making. And he's going to take it seriously because um, besides Black Panther, you know, what other black superheroes are there in this Marvel franchise? So, um, you know, he's going to bring in people that he has a lot of confidence in that are going to, you know, write a, a, a great story that's going to allow the character to survive. Let's let's not forget that, you know, he's picking up the mantle from Wesley Snipes and and moving on with this thing. So, you know, don't don't think Wesley Snipes not calling in, checking in like hey, what's going on? And like, yeah, you know, don't do this, don't do this like, you know, everybody's involved in this. Um the the the, the first rewrite was shit we know because that was coming out and then they brought in some other writers, um some other people that he trusted or whatever and then we hit the writer's strike. So at this point they pretty much just like, listen, let's just do this shit right from scratch, I have, I have zero problem with them just taking this shit back down and doing it the way that it's supposed to be done with new budget, new writers, new ideas, new people that are going to put this shit on the, on the right. This is the reason why the Fantastic Four is having such a problem uh, because 100%. everybody, you know, every, every, like, like who's writing what and yeah. whatnot. Um, and the difference between Mahershala and, and, and The Rock for me is that um, Mahershala is really an actor like he's he's a he seasoned is. actor if you've seen green book and and some of these other shows that he's done he's, he's an actor um the rock not taking anything from him he's an entertainer um it's it, you know uh, there's there's no drama there's no dramatics in, in anything that he does we understand who he is as as a as an actor on film and we love it so um, I, I trust my Herschel. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna do you know the best to his ability. What the studio will let him do, and, and I think he's gonna bring in good people. So, um, Torin, um, Abel, and Leo, I'll let you guys go, but I just want to bring up two things really quick. There's two little tidbits I was also looking at. Uh, Casanova Films. Uh, again, thank you for being here. They're just gonna make Blade a girl and cancel it before its release. Um, <laughs> no, Victoria, know, Alon Victoria Alonso's gone. We're good. I, I, th I think, no, but I, I do want to mention, these are the two little tidbits I want, and then I'll let you guys go. So here's the two-part thing that I was saying. Um, this first little bit, problems associated with Blade have been said to include that Kevin Feige is spread too thin with MCU movies and MCU Disney Plus shows, a thing that we've said on this podcast multiple times, too many projects going on. He He's kind of like, Mahershala Ali can kind of like take the four reins if he wants and bring in people he trusts and we'll get this thing done, right? Okay, cool. Here's the other part. Um, at the same time, it has also been said that Marvel is in turmoil with major script and production problems. Blade has also been said to have severed ties with the Eternals movie and Kit Harrington, and offers the flick is all about Blade's daughter, who we know has been in comics recently, where we can guess, fitting with Kevin Feige's diversity approach to the MCU, the daughter could very well replace Blade in the MCU. Perhaps Marishala Ali doesn't want to be replaced in the MCU and is demanding rewrites to make the movie the best it could be for him moving forward. That's the point I was trying to make. At yeah. the end of the day, Mahershala Ali is also going to be out for himself, and he probably doesn't want to be in a one-time movie and then be done with the role. He probably wants to stay in the MCU to do Midnight Suns and other future projects. Yeah, I, and, but I, which I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think he's, he, he's like he's like, look, if uh, Robert Downey Jr., uh, mm -hmm. Chris Evans, and Chris Hemsworth can get these long-standing contracts. Why can't I get one where I'm like spread out amongst all these different projects? Even if it's not mm -hmm. multiple Blade movies, I can pop up in other movies, but keep me around. And the thing is, the demand is going to be there. Sort of like when Black Panther came out and how it became a worldwide cultural phenomenon. Everybody was like, like wanting to see more of mm -hmm. that character. And I think the same thing is going to have the same effect with Blade because Blade was such a ground. It's, the thing is, Blade is huge because of what it did for marvel as a whole it saved them from going under yep so that that's point. why it's a lot riding on this that point. on you know as far as that goes because everything that came out before it it was flopping all over the place marvel was literally about to be dead in the water they would i keep telling people there would not be no mcu if there was no blade, no blade. to come and exactly. save it i said you better bow down and kiss the ring like this is the godfather <laughs> and that's, that's what i just you know, right, that, baby. That's, i mean that's and that's really all it boils that's really all it boils down to
And to your point, and I think I think Mahershala feels a little bit of that pressure too. He knows how crit- how critically acclaimed the first two Blade movies were, mm-hmm. and he knows he has to jump in those shoes of Wesley Snipes to yes. for a little bit. Yes. And he's going to make it his own thing. Don't get me wrong, but he definitely feels that pressure to make the movie fucking good. Which, and, you which, know, it is what it is. Which, which and the he, thing which also he, also thing you have to put into that is that also he's filling in Wesley Snipes' shoes, mm-hmm. and there's also been rumors that Wesley Snipes is going to be in Secret Wars. So I can't see it. <laughs> I, dude, I'm telling you, these ru- these rumors are starting to get real heavy, and they're starting to get carry a lot of fucking weight. So, yeah. so it's and I'm saying that this is the franchise that saved Marvel. Before this franchise, they sold all the Spider-Man rights. Remember this; these are the rights that they sold. They sold the Spider-Man rights. They sold the X-Men rights. They sold Incredible Hulk rights, and these are and the Fantastic Four rights before this movie came out. They did. So you talking about Marvel's first family, the strongest Marvel cat, one of the strongest Marvel characters, one of the strongest Marvel's groups, and then you have the main character of Marvel is Spider Man. So you sold your four top four. And Blade, the one that came out of left field, made this movie, Wesley Snipe made this movie what it is. And for him, like, the pressure has to be on. To him to fill that sword and that jacket and those sunglasses. I I would say, no, I want full control. I would do the same thing. I I want full control. Because if it flops, you're still blaming me. So if it flops... Exactly. Exactly. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die on my sword. I'm not going to die on your sword. And we know that these studios do not take certain characters and certain... We know from the beginning they haven't taken Blade seriously. And Mahershala is like, listen, if I got anything to to say about it, we're going to make this thing great. So even if he has to hand off Blade to Blade's daughter... It, it, when he hands it off, it's gonna be you're gonna be in first position on, on this on his on his relay team. You're not gonna be in last. You're not gonna write some some crazy story and then cut it off and then Blade is just you know because that's that's not the legacy of this character. This character can live like listen, you Halloween is every year. You can bring <laughs> Blade back every year the way you're doing Man Thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this this can be done. We know this. Able to something to add? Yeah, yeah. So I'll say that <clears throat> I think Mahersha Ali, like you guys all said, has way too much skin in this game for this movie not to be good. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why until he is like booted out of this project, like I will continue to have high hopes for this movie. Even if he's bringing in his own people, whatever <laughs> it is, like I think they chose him for a reason. And it's really hard for me to think of a project where he was involved and it was like really not good, like really not good. Like there might be some subpar stuff, but it's really hard to find something that was subpar that he was involved in. That was really not that good. He's he's incredible. Um, Apart from that, as far as the contract thing goes, listen, I I think he wants to be here for the long run, but you'll never see, you know, a seven, eight, nine, ten movie contract. again. You just won't. He won't, won't. Uh, like, but listen, like if he can turn this into a Midnight Suns thing, and I, I think I was saying it in the group chat like a day or two ago, like Min, uh, not Midnight Suns, uh, Werewolf by Night was one of the better things Disney Plus has put out since Disney Plus has been out. And it was literally only an hour long. Like if they mm-hmm. can, if he can tap into that universe and, and like involve Man Thing and um, Elsa Bloodstone and Werewolf by Night and like do that whole Midnight Suns thing, like they have something there. And they need to they need to tap into that somehow. Um, and you that's also, that's how I think he does it. And then you also have to remember that Blade's first appearance in comic books was Werewolf by Night. Werewolf right. By Night. Yeah. And, all times, it, and and if you, if you have any doubt whether or not he can play a mm-hmm. superhero, <laughs> go back to the uh, was the, the the Power Man series that was on Netflix where he plays Cottonmouth. And, um, oh, yeah. and, and 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 you you'll see that he, he has the chops to bring these characters to life mm-hmm. because Cottonmouth is not far from what he's doing right now. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Right. And right. then on and, top uh, of that, as far as the Eternals thing, um, <clears throat> they took weird. his voice. They took his voice out of the Internals. Um, he's not. If he's not at the at the end anymore, it's not him. And honestly, the whole Daniel Whitman thing was weird anyway. Like why? Like what? Because he has a sword. Time. Like why are we? Why? Like why? So yeah, I get it. Yeah. But, 
that's those are my thoughts. Um, okay, so let's let's. I, I just want to mention. I'm not saying Mar- like I still love Mahershala Ali for the project. Actually, I don't really know of anybody better off the top of my head that could take over I, that I would want to take over the Blade Mantle. I right. think he's gonna knock it out of the park. I just worry that the project is so convoluted at this point. I'm just worried it's gonna end up being a complete fucking failure, which would mm-hmm. suck. Because it's yeah. one of it's one of the coolest characters in Marvel, if you really think about it. Like yeah. I know it's a broad range of characters, but Blade is fucking different. I think it holds a special place in everybody's heart from the yeah. OG Blades back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, um, yeah. let me just tap into some comments here. He's on the older side, so they might be setting it up for him to be replaced out of the gate, and that ain't it. Agreed, hundred percent. And Sean was saying, uh, Casanova, please don't put that into the universe. I think he was saying about Blade being a girl, Blade's daughter. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, definitely don't want that to happen. It's just hard to trust their direction lately. Wrong. Too many female characters right now. Cottonmouth was the best part about that show. Yeah, I mean, he was listen, really good in that show. Say whatever, you, say, say whatever you want. Listen, I've said it, I think, last week on the show. MCU is kind of becoming a thing. And, you know, for better or for worse, it's the direction Marvel's going. And it's cool. I just need the storytelling to be good. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm not gonna sit here and knock female characters to the end of the earth. I just need the fucking stories to be good. If they're good, I have nothing to say about MCU. What, what, I have what to say about it. What was he? What was he? They did a good story. They did a, they, they did a good story with Miss Marvel. Well, it was. It's one of the worst rated Disney Plus shows. Just saying. Because people don't I, we liked it. A lot of people didn't. Well, Just that's terrible. <laughs> well, I think that 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 goes back to what I've been saying about keeping superheroes in their perspective environment. Marvel, you know, Mrs. Marvel belongs in space. She does not belong riding past Blockbuster. Oh, Captain Marvel. Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, not so Miss Marvel. Marvel. Oh, Miss no, Miss Marvel was dope. Though. Um, yeah, yeah Miss Marvel was dope. Um, oh, right, and so- I just want I just wanted to mention uh, if you want to click if you want to look at the original article for where I was looking at uh, Blade being in trouble, I left a link down in the description for you guys to check out if you want to go ahead and read that whole article. It's got some good information about Blade. Yeah. 